Now, of course, if they get over that starting line before the gun goes off, they'll have to go an extra lap. There'll be no disqualification. You merely have to go an extra lap. This is a three-mile course. You have to go ten times around. It's 90 miles in all for uh, the um, for the whole setup. Coming out of the east turn now, the first boat out is Miss Wayne. All right. Maverick uh, is on the top of the turn. Miss Tripway has turned and is now ready to come down. It looks like Wayne is timed to start. She'll have to bog down. And now Tripway has turned. She's kicked the rooster tail high. And we have Maverick on the inside. Both boats look like they might get an excellent start. They pinched off Maverick. And here comes Wayne. Here comes Miss Tripway on the inside near the shore lane. She's going to get a beautiful start. And Maverick's getting off to a beautiful start. It's down very close. Here comes Maverick. Maverick's getting through. There's the start. Here's the start. He was last over the line, and so they moved toward the west turn, and here's our 100-inch lens showing them as they pour at you out of that wide turn. First in that corner should be Miss Pepsi. She got off to an excellent start. Chuck Thompson driving on his home course. Around on the outside corner goes Tripway, and on the inside is Maverick. Maverick getting caught in behind that very terrific wake put up by Miss Pepsi. And it looks like uh, it's uh, Pepsi on the inside. And on the outside, you have Miss Tripway. They're halfway through the um, west turn. We're ready to go now into the fifth buoy. It's a six buoy turn. Let's see how they come out now as they straighten out. There's the overall view of the race as they go into the first turn. The boat's getting pretty well spread out. This is the first lap of 10. It's Miss Pepsi out in front, closely followed by Miss Tripway in second place. Just running out of the turn is Maverick coming out of the west turn, and they have quite a battle on for second and third. At the halfway point of the first lap, the lead boat has averaged 94.7 miles an hour. That is Miss Pepsi, and here comes Miss Tripway hot on her trail. She is about, uh, oh, I'd say less than a quarter of a mile behind her, and Tripway is turning up beautifully on the inside edge, and uh, Pepsi is still out in front, approaching the three-quarter mark of the back stretch. There's a terrific battle on for... Uh, Third and fourth place, and uh, Miss Wayne is uh, trailing badly, just coming out of the west turn now in this first lap. Swiftway is flying after uh, Pepsi into the corner. It's Bill Muncy and Miss Swiftway going out after uh, Chuck Thompson and Miss Pepsi, and Pepsi really wheels through that corner. We're on the east corner now. It's Miss Pepsi still in front. Here's your battle coming out of that east turn. Here comes uh, Shanty, or rather uh, Maverick on the inside. Miss Swiftway on the inside. Now it's Pepsi coming down to complete her first lap. Pepsi. Here's the second place boat, Miss Tripway. <laughs> Here's the battle out of the north turn, of the uh, east turn. Bound to make that mistake. It's Maverick on the outside, and it's Lee Shanith and uh, Gale Six on the inside. Quite a battle out here. And the dead goes after uh, Gale Four. Gale Six with Lee Shanith at the wheel, and we haven't been able to locate uh, Gale Five. She's out of it. Miss Wayne is across the line. Pepsi's time was 93.9 at the end of the first lap. Miss Pepsi still leading halfway through the uh, west turn. Well out in front. And uh, Miss uh, Swiftway seems to be having a little trouble going through the west turn. This Pepsi is a beautiful turning boat, and she's increased her lead considerably out of that west turn. There's a battle on for uh, third and fourth. It looks like uh, Lee Shannon is having a tough time getting through the top part of that west turn. 112.5 of the halfway mark for Miss Pepsi. She's really finding this water out here to her liking, and she's increased the distance between herself and Miss Swiftway. Miss Swiftway is in second place. Bill Muncy at the wheel, and they're pretty well stretched out. Chuck Thompson with Miss Pepsi. She was brought out of the mothballs after two years. You'll remember that she had that terrific battle with Lou Fadgel in slow motion five two or three years back. They battled through five laps at 100 miles an hour. Bill Muncy and Tripway going out after her. The field begins to stretch out. In last place is Wayne. Gail Six is in third place. Here's your third place vote. Now here's your uh, out of the uh, east turn. Here comes Pepsi. And Muncy on the inside corner coming out of the turn just now. Pepsi has completed her second lap of 10. Muncy out of the uh, east turn. And his boat is really caroming up there. Gail Six is in third place. Maverick is in fourth. Miss Wayne is in fifth, and Gail Five isn't out there. Here's your third place boat coming out of the east turn. 
is running like a scared cat and staying ahead of the Seattle Gale Challenger. Six. Coming down across the finish line of her second lap. The time on the lead boat, 100.9 miles an hour for Pepsi. Swiftway in second at 90 miles an hour. Gale Six, Lee Shane is having a tough time in third place. Maverick, here's Swiftway, going into the uh, west turn. Here's your overall viewpoint. The lead boat. Miss Pepsi out of the uh, west turn, up the back stretch. Uh, Pepsi, Pepsi moving up, 110.5 at the halfway point of this third lap. Ten, uh, seven to go. Thriftway just coming out of the uh, west turn. Gale Six still running in third. Maverick in fourth, and Wayne in fifth. And Gale Five not on the course. Here's your lead boat approaching the. Uh, well, the east turn. He's on the first buoy. Watch she moves through there. Notice the turning ability of Miss Pepsi. Boy, she's a tough boat to beat in water like this. Bill Muncie is moving out after her, but his boat is really flying. Now back to control as Miss Pepsi comes out of that upper turn down towards the starting line. The Here's the turn out of the east turn. A thousand feet away from the finish of the lap. Over the line. Goes Miss Pepsi in first place at the end of three laps. Here's your second place boat coming out of the east turn. Bill Muncy in Miss Thriftway. 108 miles an hour for Pepsi. She's going better and better. Quite a bit difference between these boats now. Five of them out of there, out of the six. That's a tough way to follow for a three-pointer. Here's your uh, third place boat coming out of the east turn. That is uh, Lee Shannon in Gale Six. Maverick close behind him, and now Miss Wayne begins to pick up, moving into the east turn. But remember, it's a 30-mile heat, and it is 10 laps. Can she Gale Six having trouble. She's cutting pretty badly, you'll notice. And that's three laps for her. Here's your western camera. Gives you an idea of Miss Pepsi. Going up that back stretch on her fourth lap, she's well out in front. Miss Wayne completes her lap. And she's the fifth place boat. Gale five out of it. Didn't get out on the water. Moving up. Here's your lead boat moving into the east turn. Past the Detroit Yacht Club. And the second place boat. Bill Muncy and Miss Thriftway. And your third place boat is just going into the west turn, the top of the turn. Those three boats are pretty closely bunched. Maverick in uh, fourth place, and Miss Wayne in fifth and last place. Out of the uh, east turn comes our lead boat, Pepsi, with Chuck Thompson at the wheel, swinging fairly wide this time. And here comes Pepsi, swinging at the thousand foot mark. Chuck Thompson, great lap number five, still in the lead. And your second place boat just moving into the top of the east turn. Bill Muncy in Miss Thriftway. This is the first section of the first heat. Here's your west turn, the lead boat. Pepsi had quite a scramble out here on the start. The last three place boats are all coming up the uh, back stretch to the east turn. Thriftway completing her uh, fourth lap. Thriftway is some 28 seconds behind the lead boat. Pepsi now halfway through the west turn. And the third place boat is just coming out of the east turn. And Maverick is driving in fourth place and closing up a little bit on the third place boat. And Wayne is in fifth. Here's your lead boat, Miss Pepsi. 87 miles an hour for Thriftway on the fourth lap. So he's considerable distance behind at the moment. That's Pepsi. Miss Pepsi with Chuck Thompson the wheel moving up the back stretch. Humping right along out there. She'll hit real consistent between 100 and 105 points. Here's your race. First place boat. And that's Miss Pepsi, about three quarters of the way through the back split, leading the east turn. And the distance between her and the second place boat, there is Thriftway, just coming out of the west turn. And Thriftway probably has lost even more time. We're in the fifth lap. All boats are content to hold, taking it easy. 
90 miles, a long way to go, says Ken Frenier, who's been out here a long time, been a part of this racing deal here at Detroit for a long time. Here's your lead boat, and it's Miss Pepsi coming out of the east turn, and she's out there all by herself. Miss Thriftway moving up the back stretch toward the east turn, 1,000 feet away from the completion of the lap. Pepsi, halfway through, a 10-lap heat, well out in front. And if she keeps moving the way she is, she'll lap Miss Wayne just going into the east turn. So, uh, we'll turn it back over to Thriftway, now moving up the uh, back stretch and moving into the east turn. Miss Thriftway, those three-pointers having a tough time out here in choppy conditions. Pepsi, 92 miles an hour on her fifth lap. Her toughest lap was the uh, third. She hit 108, and that's when she built up her big lead. Miss Thriftway coming across the line. Finish her fifth lap in second place. Thriftway is now 38 seconds behind. Here's your Thriftway pouring directly into the 100-inch lens on uh, the west turn. Our camera located on the uh, submarine located in that area. The Burns Pit areas are right to the right of uh, the left sponsor of uh, Miss Thriftway. The boat, the, Boat's pretty well spread out now. Lee Shane is just completing his fifth lap in third place. Maverick coming out of the turn, ready to complete his fifth lap. The defending champion, Lee Shane. Here's your lead boat up the back stretch. Maverick has just completed her. And the second place boat is way back, as you can see. Muncie just coming out of the west turn, heading up the back stretch for the sixth time. Wayne is just coming out of the east turn to complete her fifth lap, and the Miss Pepsi is crawling up on her, and there could be a lapping take place here very shortly. There's your lead boat. The lead boat coming out of the east turn, and Wayne is kicking madly. Shortly, at the end of six laps, Pepsi still leads, and she's about to lap Wayne in last place. Here's Tripway moving into the east turn. She's quite a distance behind now as Chuck Thompson pours it on. Of course, totally lap time counts quite a bit. Pepsi's time on the last, on the sixth lap, was 90.7 unofficially. This is Pep uh, Miss Tripway coming out of the uh, east turn. There's uh, Pepsi heading through the west turn. Muncie has uh, slowed down, not too much though, of course, because totally lap time counts quite a bit. Maverick in fourth place is headed halfway up the back stretch. Lee Shanus is going into the east turn in third place. There's your lead boat. Moving into the west turn. And out of the west turn and up the back stretch. On the seventh lap, Chuck Thompson and Miss Pepsi get off to a beautiful start. And brother, he sure knows how to drive this course out here with the current and the waves and everything make it a pretty tough place to uh, win. Here's your second place boat, and that will be uh, Bill Muncy and Miss Tripway. Gail Six to the her six lap. Here's your first place boat. And the uh, Wayne halfway up the back stretch is laboring. Maverick is coming down to complete her uh, lap. That's Miss uh, Pepsi. Heading into the north turn, or the, I beg your pardon, the uh, east turn. Here's your lead boat. Gale six average 80.8 in the sixth lap, just to give you a difference in uh, the lead boat. And, uh, third place boat. Chuck Cotton completing lap number seven, still in the lead. He's led right from the very beginning, getting to a beautiful start and moving into that corner. The second place boat is Bill Muncy. Moving into the east turn now, three quarters of the way through the back stretch. Three point out there of his is really flying, although he's backed off a little bit. And Miss Wayne is having a tough time coming out of the east turn, and it looks like Muncy would uh, last her very shortly. But they're having all sorts of trouble with that uh, twin propeller, twin engine job. We have the second place boat, and this is the map. Miss Tripway coming away. Completing her seventh lap in second place. The lead boat is Pepsi. And Pepsi 
is moving through the west turn, headed up the back stretch, and it looks like she's about ready to uh, lap another boat if she can move up on Maverick running in fourth place. Pepsi uh, has a one minute and 37 second lead on the second place boat, Thriftway. Maverick is coming to you throwing that Mavs. Here's your pan from first round to second place to show you the considerable distance that a minute and some uh, 37 seconds can make for you. Here's your overall viewpoint of the race as they move to the west end of the course marked by the Belle Isle Bridge. The boat's considerably separated out here now. Five managed to get in the water. Gale Five wasn't out there. So, so we had five starting. Your lead boat, Miss Pepsi, moving into the uh, east turn. Gale Six just completing her lap. Miss Pepsi moving on her eighth lap. She has two more to go, and it looks like she's moving up with an intention to uh, lap Maverick if she can, who is just now completing her seventh lap. And that's the upper turn by its Your lead boat coming down to complete the lap number eight. This is a single step hydroplane, a type that is known to be famous on this river, and it throws a wide wake, and it's tough to get in behind. Doesn't throw a high rooster tail, but brother, she sure moves through this water. She's appeared out in Seattle, of course, before. 98.13 for Pepsi on the eighth lap. She's still in the lead, well out in front, as Muncie moves into the east turn. Here's your 100-inch uh, lens shot. Looking at uh, Pepsi moving into that e west turn area. Pepsi is moving up. And it looks like she's trying to get ahead of Maverick. If she's going to lap Maverick, why... Ooh, Maverick almost had himself a tough time over there in that west turn. <laughs> Miss Ripley just completed her uh, lap. Her eighth lap, she's in second place. Here's Pepsi going by Maverick, and that's another lapping for Chuck Thompson and Pepsi, and that'll be a quarter of the way up the uh, back stretch of his ninth lap. So within the last three laps, Chuck Thompson driving a very steady, heady, brilliant race in Miss Pepsi, and now look at Stead, give him a battle. Stead will not get back, he won't let him lap him. Stead is giving Pepsi a fight, going into the west turn. Or east turn. And Wayne is still belaboring. She's a lap behind the lead boat. And Pepsi is content to let Maverick stay out in front of her. Here's your lead boat. Pepsi halfway through the east turn. And let's see if she's able to take her now. Lee Shannon's coming down to complete his uh, and that number eight for him. Up with, uh, and Pepsi going out after Maverick. Maverick is still out in front. One more lap to go for Miss Pepsi. She's still out in front. Second place boat is coming halfway up the back stretch toward the east turn. And that is uh, Bill Muncie and Miss Thriftway. This is Muncie Thriftway moving up the back stretch, approaching the east turn area. 92.7 miles an hour for Pepsi and 79.9 for Gale Six. She's way behind in third place. The field is really spread out. Maverick still insisting that Pepsi won't take her in that west turn. There's your west turn with the uh, lead boat, Miss Pepsi, in her tenth and final lap. It'll be a wonderful uh, heat win for her at first section of the first heat. But of course, uh, you have to wait until the actual uh, compilation of both heats before you get into it. Here's your second place boat coming out of the uh, east turn. Bill Muncy and Miss Tripway completing her ninth lap, getting ready for her tenth and final lap. Bill Muncy going by, starting his tenth and final lap. Uh, Here we have another red hot fight going up that back stretch. As Wayne is belaboring, it looks like they'll be a lapping. Gale Six and Maverick are both fighting to get by. There's quite a duel out there. As Maverick moves up now and is in uh, third place. Maverick is in third place and Lee Shannon and Gale Six is laboring. As Bill Stead makes his bid and moves into third place. Now Lee Shannon comes out after him as they move into the east turn. And there's quite a battle on there. Meanwhile, the Miss Pepsi turns along and is approaching the east turn for the tenth and final time. Maverick, running in third place, made her bid, came up that back stretch and took over on uh, the on, on Gale Six. Here's the uh, east flag coming out for uh, Maverick. Maverick starts her tenth and final lap. 
Here comes Gale Six now in fourth place, starting her advance of Frank Lamb. And here line. comes uh, here Miss Pepsi around. And she's lane. coming around for the tenth and final the time. Out of the east turn. turn. And there's the Pepsi coming across. And there it is. Winner of the first section, the first heat, is Miss Pepsi at Detroit Boat. Staying out in front all the way from start to finish as we have uh, Thrift Ray moving into the east turn in second place, completing her tenth lap. She's in second place. And the uh, big battle that remains now is between Maverick in third place and Lee Shanick and Gale Six. With Wayne still laboring and trying to finish, so she's got at least a fifth place rating out of it. Out of the east turn comes uh, Muncie in fifth way. The east turn corresponding to the north turn in our course in Lake Washington. Here's Muncie's completion in second place. Taking the checkered flag, finishing in second. Unofficially, the totally lap time for Pepsi was 18 minutes 41 and a half seconds. The totally lap time on all of these uh, boats that finished in this uh, first section of the first heat. Here's your uh, first place boat in this first section of the first heat. Pepsi, driven by uh, Chuck Thompson. Now let's get back to that totally lap time factor. The totally lap time factor on each one of these boats that is completed will have to be uh, added up uh, out of both uh, the sections before we can determine who has actually won the first heat. First heat is actually in two sections, known as Heat 1A and Heat 1B. And you will have to have both sections run before you can determine the actual uh, the actual point placing of uh, both of the boats. Here comes Maverick out of the east turn. In third place, Maverick. A thousand feet away, 500, and over the line. For our third place, Bill Stead and Maverick. Last time she competed, and coming last year, as Rebel Sarah with Colonel Les Slay at the wheel. Gale Six coming around in fourth place. And the checkered flag 500 feet away. And in there for fourth place comes Gale Six. And that's the physical placement on each one of these boats. Potentially, the way they finished, Pepsi could have 400 points. Thriftway, 300. Gale six 169 on her fourth place finish, and Maverick 225 on her third place finish. However, the totally lap time on every one of those boats will have to be compared with the totally lap time on the boats that finish in Heat 1B, which will come off at 1 o'clock this afternoon. So we've had 10 laps of racing out here at the Detroit River, and you folks in the Pacific Northwest have had your first opportunity of seeing the type of water condition that these men um, race under most of the time. All right, let's uh, turn things over now and uh, see if Tommy Dargan of the Burns Pit area is ready. Yeah, okay. This is Riverama in Detroit, where you are watching the Bon Marche's exclusive cup, the 1936 Gold Cup Regatta. section of the first heat. The start has included Maverick with Bill Stead as the driver out of Reno, Nevada, Miss Swiftway with Bill Muncie as the driver out of Detroit, and uh, the Gale 5 driven by Bill Cantrell didn't start. We have no reason, we have no information on that as yet. The Gale 6 with Lee Shane is at the wheel did start. Miss Pepsi was uh, the winner of the first section of the first heat, and Miss Wayne finished in uh, last place. In fact, she's still out there on the uh, course. But for the time being, so you've had a, a first glance the situation at the, uh, the type of water conditions bonus. that people race under now here at the Detroit River. As you've been able to watch by the action of the boat, I think it's pretty and obvious to you that water conditions here are quite different from what they are at Washington. We can give you a quick check now unofficially on the uh, lap averages for Pepsi. In the first lap, she had 97.16. In the second, 100.9. She led from start to finish. She completed two lappings on two of the boats out here. In the uh, third lap, she had her best time on our clock, 108 miles an hour even. And she was in around 100 and, uh, about 100 miles an hour even on the fourth lap. 92 miles an hour on the fifth, on the sixth, 90.7, on the seventh, 92.7, on the eighth, 98.13, on the ninth, 92.7. And on the uh, tenth, she came in uh, around 93 miles an hour. She drove a very consistent, heady race, and there's no doubt in my mind that when the Detroit folks found out that she had qualified along about ninth or 10th on that, that ball fastest list, 
they were extremely happy because this boat really has the ability to run in this type of water. Here is the Miss Wayne coming down now to get the checkered flag to complete her tenth and final lap of this first section of the first heat. She was lapped out there and uh, she had a lot of engine trouble. That twin propeller and the twin engine job just isn't operating correctly for Bud Sealy. Here you see the 100-inch lens showing the boat as she approaches the Burns Pit area, which marks the outer edge of the west turn itself. Now, the west turn here at the uh, Detroit River course is extremely wide. This course is laid out in the shape where it is extremely narrow at the east end and extremely wide at the west end. We'll go into further detail on that uh, a little bit later on. Here's Tommy Dargan in the Burns Pit area. Tom? Thank you, and first of all, welcome to Seattle, and it's good to be home in the Puget Sound area, even if it's over 2,000 miles of cable. Let's go down and talk to Willard Rhodes, who I think is pretty happy. Here are all the Puget Sound people. Willard Rhodes, there's our camera over here. Come on, Bill. Uh, tell us about the race. How did it feel to you? How did the boat feel, Bill? Well, the boat feels real good. This water's miserable, and uh, it's difficult to run in that top. Here comes Thrifty, so let's go up here. Uh, the last thing you said uh, was the water felt miserable. Would you describe oh, that for us? rough, and there's swells, and I just couldn't get Thrifty to get up there and perform the way it fools. It's performing good, though. We ran a second, and we're sitting back. We'll see what happens in the next piece. Bill, were you pretty surprised with the way Miss Pepsi performed? No, uh-uh. I've seen Pepsi perform for years, and it always performed the same way. It mm -hmm. makes his own water and makes everybody else running. And you were following his trough most of the time, too. Well, I was it? trying to get in his wake, yeah. A little smoother run, and maybe I could pick up a little top end. But... Well, we'll see how the timings come out in terms of Section B, but certainly you're way up on the ladder, Bill, and congratulations. And I know Thanks, I'm Tom. on behalf of all of you're you that go. you mean that. I know you're going to go. Well, this uh, is starting off auspiciously, at least, for you, isn't it? Oh, fine. We're happy. We all really had the roughest draw out there. That uh, We had all the twin engines. He done a good job. He's he a little bit unhappy did. when he's not out in front, but we're happy with the second. Well, you know, just in case that uh, somebody doesn't recognize you from past coverage, this, of course, is Willard Rhodes, uh, owner of Thrifty. Uh, now, on the Miss Thriftway's time in second place, uh, she probably will contend very well considering the speed of the boats in, uh, in Section B, wouldn't you say, Willard? Oh, very definitely. I mean, we proved that. If we can get a little bit of luck and not get so many twin engines next time, Bill will really get out there and show them. Well, Thriftway was out of the water, I know, on this particular stretch of the river a great uh, deal of right the time. Right behind Pepsi. Did you see them troughs out there about three feet deep? Really it was terrific. smart to drop back and take a second place. Well, we'll see what happens in Section B. Shanty is in there, but it's certainly this is true. The two Seattle boats that are performing, Maverick and Miss Thriftway, certainly performed well this morning. Thanks so much, Willard, and lots of good luck. Now, every boat is maneuvering in the east end of the course. Remember, they cannot come across that starting line before that gun fires, or they'll have to go an extra lap, which virtually puts them out of the running. Now, let's watch them. It's Miss Thriftway on the left part of your screen. They have approximately 20 seconds left to go on the stopwatch. It doesn't look to me as though there's any danger of false start, although everybody seems to be taking it pretty easy, as uh, six is out there, Gale six is out there, and Gale five is also out there. So we have a full field of six boats. Here they come down. It's Maverick on the inside, Wayne on the inside, Pepsi in the middle, and uh, Shanty, or rather, Miss Slipway on the outside. They're coming down. They're very close. There's the gun. Here's the start. Gale six. Miss Pepsi getting off in first place. Now uh, here's the race. As they race down on a 100-inch lens, you see them coming head on toward you, and they're approaching the west turn of the course. This west turn is six buoys across. Now let's see who comes out on the other side, going up the back stretch. All the boats getting off to an excellent start. There wasn't much to choose. Miss Wayne was on the inside. Miss Thwipway, a Pacific Northwest entry, was on the outside. Maverick is leading, going into the uh, west turn. Maverick, driven by Bill Stead, owned by Bill Wagner, the transplanted Texan who spends a lot of his time in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Pepsi is second, and moving into third place, and moving very rapidly indeed, is, uh, looks like Thrift Wave. All right, here we are, moving out of the west turn. And up the back stretch, here's a beautiful race for first and second, and that third boat is in there real close too. It's neck and neck, up that back stretch. Pepsi and Maverick are racing, neck to neck. Pepsi and Maverick. And it looks like uh, Pepsi is giving ground as Maverick moves out in front halfway through the back stretch. And there's a boat coming up in the spray on the outside. It is Thriftway taking out after Maverick. Thriftway is in second place and Pepsi is in third place. And the rest of the field is strung out. This is the first lap as Bill Muncy 
goes out after a maverick on the outside of the east turn. It is Bill Muncy coming around out of the east turn now on the outside. Bill Muncy. My cans, my cans, get my cans on. Here's the uh, turn out of the uh, east turn. Here's the race, Maverick on the uh, inside, Swifty on the outside. And Bill Muncy is coming down across the line just a half lap, half foot, foot ahead of him. Pepsi is third, Maverick is second, and Pepsi begins to take over second place in the run down toward the west turn. Here's your west turn and the battle going into that area. As we have the rest of the field coming across in here. Wayne, followed by Gale 5, followed by Gale 6. Here's a bird's eye viewpoint of the uh, course looking to the west side of the course. Coming out of the west turn, here's a close-up view of Miss Swiftway, Bill Muncy driving. He's a boy from Detroit, drives for Pacific Northwest. Swiftway is a boat that comes out of the Pacific Northwest owned by a string of associated grocery group. Here's your first place boat, coming up the back stretch now. Bill Muncy being chased by Pepsi, and Maverick has fallen back to third place, and the rest of the field is strung out in the west turn. Six boats in all. Here's your race for first and second. Muncy out in front. He finished in second place in the first heat. And uh, Pepsi is moving in second place. And Maverick is backed off to third. And the rest of the field is strung out and will catch up for you. Here's Swifty in the east turn. Halfway through. It's a very shallow turn, a pin turn. Hairpin almost. For these boats, notice how they slide sideways. A lot of you watching hydroplane racing for the first time. This is the unlimited class. This is the... Second lap, Swiftway had 94.7 on the first time around the course. A three-mile course. Bill Munsey starting his second, his third lap. Last year he lost in the second place boat. Now the third place boat, Maverick. Second place boat, uh, Pepsi is six seconds behind the first place boat. Maverick is really bouncing and waving. Here's your first place boat going down into the uh, west turn. On a 100-inch lens, develop. Here's the wide swing. As unlimited hydroplane racing being seen coast to coast for the first time. Thriftway, 102.3 miles an hour for the uh, second lap. Ten times around the course, 30 miles in all. Wayne is coming down here in fourth place. Here's your second place boat. It's Miss Pepsi. She's a single-step hydroplane designed a little bit differently from the rest of them for this tough Detroit River flip. It is... The first place boat out of the uh, west turn. Tell him not to hit me so fast. Tell him give me a time. Tell him to give me time to make the switch. Miss Swiftway halfway up the back stretch, followed by Miss Pepsi. We've really had a time out here as Swiftway is leading three quarters of the way through the back stretch of her third lap. In second place is Miss Pepsi, driven by Chuck Thompson. In third place and way back, just coming out of the west turn, is uh, Maverick. And the rest of the field swing out just moving into the west turn. Here's your east turn on this Detroit River course. Bill Muncy. He lost the race last year to Lee Shane at the defending champion. He was running in last place in this heat. Lost it by three and a half seconds. Totally lapsed time on each one of these heats is considered for bonus points. Bill Muncy coming down a thousand feet from the finish. 500. And over the line. Leading at the end of three laps. Leading by quite a margin over Miss Pepsi. Here she comes, Miss Pepsi. End of lap three for Miss Pepsi. And your third place boat is Maverick coming up the back stretch, moving a little more slowly. She took quite a pounding out there. And there's quite a battle on for third and fourth place. Here's your west turn battle though with Thripway out in front, 100 miles an hour even for Thripway at the end of lap three. Her three laps so far, 94.7, 102.3, and 100 miles an hour even. Your overall viewpoint of the uh, work through the uh, western area. Maverick is in, uh, just across the line, in third place. And she's way behind. The field beginning to stretch out now as we reach the halfway point of this uh, heat. They'll run over the heat that uh, 
was stopped because of rain here. At the halfway point, around 101 miles an hour for Miss Twiftway, she moves up the back stretch. Gale Six has now moved up, followed by Miss Wayne. And Gale Five is in last place. Miss Twiftway is now moving into the east turn. Here she is, going into the east turn. A narrow five buoy turn, those buoys 250, 350 feet apart. Gale Five having a tough time moving down to the west turn, bucking and pitching. And Miss uh, Pepsi starts to make her move now. Chuck Thompson at the wheel moving into the west turn. Here's the run out of the east turn now, coming down the home stretch. Bill Muncy out after the big one for his owner, Willard Rhodes, head of the Associated Grocer Group. Over the line on lap four. Stripway is out in front as Bill Muncy backs off a little bit, saving his engine. Here comes Miss Pepsi in second place out of the east turn. We'll check the time differential between first and second. There'll be a lapping out here pretty soon. Maverick is running in third place, coming halfway up the back stretch. And the rest of the field strung out just coming out of the west turn. Bill Muncy running in number one spot, moving through that west turn now at a 100-inch lens. You get a close, intimate viewpoint of what a driver looks like as he races through that turn at about 120 miles an hour. That spray isn't quite as close to our camera located on the submarine in that corner. Uh, incidentally, the lead boat is 14 seconds out in front of the second-place boat, Miss Pepsi. 101.8 miles an hour on the fourth lap for Thwipway. She's averaged over 100 miles an hour on every lap but the first one. She came in on the outside, the near shore lane, and made that drive into that west turn and made it really pay off. She came through there real nicely. Here's your second place boat. It's Miss Pepsi, halfway up the back stretch. And your first place boat, halfway up the back stretch. Miss Pepsi is in second place. And there can be a lapping here pretty soon. Gale Five is running in last place, and Miss Swiftway is moving up in her rapidly, and he could be lapped here in the east turn. Miss Swiftway leading in the race, moving into the east turn now, past the Detroit Yacht Club. In second place is Miss Pepsi, and Gale Five comes, Gale Six rather, coming across, just completing another lap, her fourth lap. And Miss Wayne comes across to complete her fourth lap. Now Miss uh, Swiftway goes out after uh, Gale Five, driven by Wild Bill Tanto. There'll be a lapping here. This is a 10 lap heat. Here's Swiftway coming down across the finish line on her fifth lap. And Gail Five with Bill Cantrell at the wheel is running through rough water. At the end of lap five for Miss Swiftway. Really flying through that water. And there'll be a lapping here right now as Bill Cantrell pitches Bucks and Weeks. Miss Pepsi second. And Bill Cantrell is lapped by Miss Swiftway moving on the inside lane toward the west turn. Here's your western camera, the 100-inch lens taking the boat from a straight-on viewpoint. Look at her hop and dive for you. That boat, perfectly balanced, has a wonderful record behind her. Whee! Look at her fly. Bill Muncy, you see, you have to get out in front, and the further back you are on the pack, the rougher the water gets. Lowness the way he wheels that boat through that turn on this sixth lap. He's out in front. He's followed by Miss Pepsi, who is a single-step hydroplane and owned by the Dawson brothers. Hasn't been in active racing service in the unlimited hydroplane class for at least two years. Last time we saw her in action, she was out in the uh, Pacific... Northwest, and she had a tremendous duel with Lou Fagel in Slow Motion 5, and they raced five laps at over 100 miles an hour, neck to neck. Here's your first and last place boats as we move through the west turn. Tripway is out in front. Wayne has been lapped. As Miss Tripway moves, Maverick comes across. At the halfway mark, Miss Tripway, the leading uh, boat, in this uh, particular heat, in this particular section, is out in front. She has lapped Miss Wayne of Detroit. And Pepsi has now lapped Miss Wayne and going out after uh, Tripway as Chuck Thompson throws the boat in there. This is where the turning ability of the single step fighter plane comes down. Chuck Thompson beginning to make his move now on this Tripway as he forces uh, Bill Muncy to drive. Here comes Bill Muncy to complete lap number six. Bill Muncy and Miss Whitway leading. Everything up for grabs, the gold cup. Chuck Thompson coming down across the line. Six seconds behind. Miss Pepsi in second place. Wayne just completed her lap. And the rest of the field is spread out. Maverick comes out of the east turn now in third place. Here's Muncy going into the west turn. What's the action of the boat? If you think it's rough when he's out there in front of those boys, think of what it's like when you're back about third or fourth place. 
You really get yourself lanced around. Here's first and second in the west turn. It is Miss Tripway out in front. We're in the seventh lap of a ten-lap feature. It was Miss Pepsi who won the first section of this first heat. The second section was not complete, completed because of rain. They stopped at the end of five uh, laps, and it'll be rerun again later on this afternoon. And it'll be counted in the overall scoring. Maverick moving into the east turn now in third place. And you have uh, another lapping about due here if Tripway keeps up with the rate that she's going. Notice the small rooster tail that... Uh, Pepsi throws up in comparison to the high-powered Miss uh, Thriftway. Bill Muncy at the wheel, the Detroit boy, trying to take the Gold Cup back to Seattle. Here's your battle for first and second, as uh, Chuck Thompson is a definite menace. Here's the uh, first-place boat moving into the east turn now, and there'll be another lapping on Gale Six if he moves up on him. Bill Muncy in uh, Miss Thriftway, moving in very hard. Maverick, still in third place, has completed her uh, sixth lap. We've completed six laps. This is the seventh lap. Bill Muncy in Thriftway, moving out of the east turn now. And there'll be a lapping on Gale Six, which is swung wide over in the near shore lane. Bill Muncy swinging in real tight now. And once again, we find that Chuck Thompson is moving a very nice corner in there as he gains. And uh, Muncy laps Gale Six. At the end of seven laps, Thriftway leads. Here's your second place vote. Bill Muncy. He cuts across that wake like nobody's business. She is eight seconds behind the lead boat, Miss Thriftway, who now moves into the west turn. This is the eighth lap coming up. Her speed average on the seventh lap for three of the leading boat was 101.8, the same as she had on the seventh lap. In every lap but one, she has been over 100 miles an hour, which is terrific driving on a course that is rather rough. Maverick is in third place. The rest of the field is strung out. Gale six, Gale five, and uh, Miss Wayne. Here's your race for first and second. That's the big one out here in this particular section of this heat. Miss Thriftway out in front, and Miss Pepsi in second. The run up the back stretch now by the leading boat. As Pepsi comes up there real hard, here's a battle for you. It's a real move. Miss Thriftway out in front. What? They both lapped Gale six that time. 96.4 at the halfway mark for the lead boat. Miss Thriftway leading, followed by Miss Pepsi, followed by Maverick, and there was a lapping on Gale Six as they came out of that west turn. Gale Five just came around in another one of her laps. She's a lap behind the field. Here comes uh, Muncy, and he's moving up on Maverick. There'll be a lapping, and this should be the complete field. If Bill Muncy keeps on the way he is going, he will lap the entire field. As we enter the, uh, complete the eighth lap, he'll be starting his ninth, and he has a chance to catch Maverick. Of course, that uh, makes us an exception. Pepsi running just behind him. There's the end of lap number eight. Two more laps to go for Bill Muncy riding in first place. Here comes Miss Pepsi, hot after him. In second place. Eight seconds behind for Pepsi. Still the same distance behind the two boats. Tripway, followed by Miss Pepsi. Gale Six has just completed another lap. All six boats are still running out here at the start of this heat. This is heat 2A. The second heat, the first section. We'll be running over heat 1B a little bit later on this afternoon, a heat that only had five laps completed. With Shanty 1 leading at the end of six laps, but they took it back to five, and then they decided to rerun it. Here's your first place boat, Miss Swiftway, coming out of the west turn now on her ninth lap, and second place boat, is Miss Pepsi running through that uh, muck down there in the west turn, where it's very rough indeed. Miss Wayne just coming across the line. Here's your race for first and second, a comparative difference. Every boat out there bouncing around, and Tripway moves up now on Maverick, and there'll be a lapping in the back stretch, approaching the east turn. Muncie in the spray of Maverick, driven by Bill Stead. Round him he goes as he approaches the east turn, and he has now lapped everybody in the field with the exception of the second race boat. Miss Pepsi, and Miss Pepsi looks like she's going to get ready to uh, lap uh, Maverick, too. Bill Muncy running a beautiful race, and brother, he came in at 101.8 miles an hour at the halfway point of this lap. This is the ninth lap. One of the boats has slid off to the side. It looks like one of the Gale boats is... Gale the Five is dropping out of it. Bill Cantrell is out of it, going over to the pits. Here we come, out of the east turn now. It's the last lap coming up for Bill Muncy in this slipway. Down across the line, 500 feet. 
to second place, folks. Miss Pepsi. And Miss Pepsi would like to laugh Maverick because she'd like to get out of her way. Muncie running to the west turn for the tenth and final time on uh, Heat 2A. A six buoy turn. Pepsi is now seven seconds behind. She's picked up a second the tough way. Wayne is still on the course. And uh, Gail Six, Lee Shaneth, the defending champion, is out on the course too. He won the Gold Cup last year by three and a half seconds over this boy who now leads in the race, Bill Muncie. Muncie, a young boy from Detroit. All right, here's your... Gail Six has just now completed another lap. And Gail Five is out of it, so that leaves five out of the six. Out of the west turn now comes our leading boat, Miss Swiftway with the wheel. And Pepsi is in second place, just rounding out of the west turn. Here's the run up the back stretch for the tenth and last time of this uh, heat for Bill Muncy, leading in Miss Swiftway. And his times have been nothing short of terrific. In the ninth lap, he had a time of 100.9. His time at the halfway point here is 100.8. And remember, there are bonus points involved in this. Miss Wayne, here's your first place boat riding into the east turn. It's Bill Muncy and Miss Swiftway. The Associated Grocer Group, and there's a bigger margin as Miss Pepsi has now lapped Maverick. Your second place boat is uh, Pepsi, and she seems to have uh, laid back a little bit. She realizes she can't catch him, so she moves into that east turn fairly easily, and Maverick, with Bill set of the wheel, is taking an awful pounding in the wake of that single-step hydroplane, Chuck Thompson, the Dawson brothers, Miss Pepsi. Here's your first and second situation. Here comes Muncie across the line, the winner! Bill Muncie of Miss Swiftway, the winner, and his time in the tenth and final lap will come in probably well over 100 miles an hour. Not too much, though. He was pretty easy at it. In second place, folks. And Maverick has another time to go around to be third. Well, quite a situation for us. The lap time was 18 minutes flat. And the tenth uh, lap Averaged in at miles per hour 100.9, which is the same as he had on the ninth lap. So Bill Muncie, outside of the first lap, averaged over 100, 100 miles an hour or better for nine straight laps. And believe me, he came in at 18 minutes, which is the lowest total elapsed time we've had so far in the heats that have been completed. This is worth extra point to him. You're watching the 1956 Gold Cup race from Detroit, Michigan. We'll return to our scene of activity in just a moment, following station identification. This is the ABC Television Network. That's where the winner of our heat away finished with um, a wide away showing of being first all the way. She came across the line dead even with about three other boats. She beat everybody into the west turn, and she was out in front and stayed there. Miss Pepsi ran second wire to wire and finished about eight or ten seconds behind Thriftway. It was an extremely fast lap. It's clean, but we should pass this on to you. The hull, the front, the bow of Miss Thriftway has been torn loose for most of the ten laps in which she participated. We don't know what exactly happened, but you can rest assured that we're going to find out, either from the crew chief Mike Favoni or Ted Jones, the man who is the father of these three-point hydroplanes. Uh, Bill Muncy is approaching the dock now. He's a young man, 28 years old, married with two children. And uh, she's in the boat now, and they're looking at the bow. She's badly shattered, but it's only on the top. Obviously, it didn't interfere with the sterling performance of Miss Thriftway, which you just saw here out on the Detroit River. We're going to get out of your view for just a moment to get you the story. You can hear it and watch the general action and see a very happy, hysterically happy crew, we might say. Now, I'm going to talk here to Ted Jones, the man who designed Miss Thriftway and all the other three-point hydroplanes. Ted, what happened to the bow? Uh, I can't tell. I haven't questioned Bill yet as whether he struck something. I think he just hit a big, big fat wave and crushed it in. He was going very fast. I understand his lap time was out of this world, and he was coming out of that. I think that this happened when he came out of that south turn there into a terrific roller. Uh, well, Ted, he did the 30 miles in 18 minutes. I, I think that's good. the fastest that's ever been done on this river. I guess river. that's the fast heat. Uh, the no, fastest heat on this river, isn't it? I think it is. I'm sure it is, Ted. Now, this uh, badly shattered hull, which you and home will see very shortly as Mike Pavoni and the other crew members bring Thriftway aboard uh, her rack. 
Uh, will that interfere with her running further today in the Cold Cup test? Uh, we'll have it repaired. It won't be as good as it was, but we'll have it repaired and in there for the final heat, and, and I'm sure we'll get in the final heat. Well, thank you very much. That's Ted Jones, the man who is the father of all these three-point hydroplanes, the man who designed them and devised this revolutionary new style. Now, Bill, there are a, a great many people all over the United States of America, and I'm going to bring Bill out here so you can see him. What happened to my wife, anyhow? Kit's around here someplace. Uh, Bill's referring to his wife. But here, stay right here, and we'll find Kit for you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the young man who, with tremendous courage, you just saw drive Miss Driftway around this course for 30 miles with a shattered hull. Now, when did it happen, Bill? I don't have the slightest idea, Tommy. I caught just a corner of it out beside the engine there, and it didn't look like much to me. I didn't even realize it was bad it was until I got out of the boat here. Well, you, you didn't realize that it was that badly shattered? Oh, no. I wouldn't have cared. I'd have gone anyhow. I, I know you would, Bill. Listen, you realize that you made the 30 miles in about 18 minutes? That's good. That's terrific. Maybe that'll put us to final heat this time, huh? Let's hope so. Maybe this time. No more much. bonus points. No <laughs> more bonus points. Well, you might get some, though, Bill. Good. You realize that? Well, it's about time we got some. Everybody else gets them but us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know you want to find Kit. Now, she was up here, Bill, and she said she was very tired after that 30 miles, so you'll go find yeah, her. Yeah, she was tired. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Good Bill Muncy, a wonderful guy. And now, just for the moment, just one... Okay, we have to go back now to Bill O'Mara on the barge. Here on the official barge, I'd like to explain to those stations who have joined us that the station calls for this. We will now run Heat 1B. This was the heat in which Gale 4, Miss Seattle, Shanty, US 1, and US 2, and Move Along were running when the rains came. And they ran for over three laps in driving rain. It drenched every one of us up here on the barge. It pelted down furiously. You couldn't see in front of you. In fact, it was so dense out there and so heavily overcast that one of the drivers, Miss US 1, Freddie Alder at the wheel after leading, missed the west turn and had to turn and go back. Well, now, according to the Gold Cup rules, at a particular situation like that, there are several things that the officials can do. And they decided in this particular case that they would run over in its completion Heat 1B. Here's your track now as they come up in 15 seconds. Nobody's taking any chances. They're going flat out now as they're moving in there. Here's the start. It's a free-for-all at first. Every man for himself. Here's the start. Now they're going to move in there. Gale 6 comes on the outside and cuts out quickly. Quickly coming down the far side.
Here's your first place vote. A wide tire is running up the court, and Shanty is having trouble. It looks to me like Colonel Rushley, just now coming out of the east turn, isn't going to be able to make it. All right. Your second place vote is Miss Pepsi, hot on the heels of uh, that burn up boy, Bill Muncy, the 27-year-old kid. He's halfway up that back stretch, and brother, look at him go. He's really moving that vote out. He's going to throw his heart into it. At the halfway point, 103.1, he wants those bonus points, and man, he wants to go for everything. Shanty won. Coming down the outside corner, he says he's all through. A wide tie goes after the big one. And it is this way going into the east turn now with uh, Miss Pepsi. Try to ways back. He's really picked up some time. Maverick's in, in fourth place, just going into the west turn. And we have Gale Six coming out of the turn in third place. Your second place vote is Miss Pepsi going into the uh, east turn. Out of the east turn comes uh, Bill Muncy in this trip way. Bill Muncy driving the tripway, coming down now across the line on his second lap. Let's count those laps, eh, Bill? 99 miles an hour on the first lap. In second place in the tripway. On the first round, Miss Pepsi was five seconds behind. Bill now makes Pepsi move into him as he eases up a little bit. And Chuck Thompson comes back here. Lap two, 102 miles an hour for tripway on the second lap. And uh, now... Way, going into the west turn is 10 seconds ahead of Miss Pepsi in second place. Maverick is running in fourth place. Lee Shanus is running in third place out of the uh, east turn. Here is Tripway uh, going to the uh, west turn. And your element battle for first and second. First is Tripway. Second is uh, Miss Pepsi. And Pepsi seems to have a little trouble going through that uh, west turn. Or maybe it's because Muncie's really pouring the cold to her, so here comes Gale Six completing her second lap. And Maverick comes out of the east turn with uh, Wyatt Kai just going into the east turn. Out of the west turn now comes uh, Miss Slipray with Bill Muncy at the wheel. Closely followed by about 10 or 15 seconds back, Miss Pepsi from Chuck Thompson. Here's his second place vote. Miss Pepsi lying down there. Notice the low wrist tail that she has. That's the uh, typical step hydroplane action that you get. Your lead boat, halfway through the backstretch, Bill Muncy on the third lap, as he's really flying that boat. This kid ran uh, in all sorts of tough luck, starting with a race last year, when he lost about three and a half seconds. A wide tie just finished the second lap. Your first race boat going into the uh, east turn. Halfway through the east turn now. Close to battle by Chuck Thompson and Miss Pepsi, and boy, that boat sitting back there like a living prey. Because if this one should bobble just a little bit, Pepsi is known for her durability of performance. I would imagine that Muncie will back off just a little bit and make uh, Thompson come up to him. He'll really wheel through those corners, though. He's been practicing a lot. All right, here comes Muncie. A thousand feet from the finish of his third lap. Five hundred and over the line. He has seven more to go. He already has bonus points for the fastest uh, 30 mile average. Your second place vote is Pepsi coming down across the line. We'll get the second that will continue. Nine seconds to continue to. A total of 12 seconds for Muncie as he begins to build his lead. He started with five. He Came on with 10, now he's 12 seconds ahead. Here's third place vote. Here's uh, Lee Shavis and Gale Six going into the east turn. And your fourth place vote is Maverick, and a wide tie is hot after Maverick now, coming out of the west turn, up the back stretch. Going into the bottom part of the west turn, we have Miss Mun uh, uh, Miss Muncy. Uh, Miss Slipway with Bill Muncy at the wheel. And uh, Pepsi rolls into that west turn and doesn't seem to be doing too well. Here's your second place vote. Slipway, halfway through the east turn. A west turn. And Pepsi, Pepsi coming out of the west turn. Your lead boat has just now made the turn. He's a quarter of the way up the back stretch. Muncy, Gale Six has another line. At the halfway mark, Muncy leads, has an average of 105 miles an hour for the lap. In the third lap, he came in at 100 miles an hour. 99, 102, and 100 miles an hour. Bill Muncy riding along in Miss Tripway on an overcast day. Coming around here to finish. And Shanty won is out of it. Maverick just completed another lap. The lead boat. Miss Swiftway. Bill Muncie at the wheel. And Shanty won is completely out of it. Everything went back to the pit. He's all through for the day. Bill Muncie. Driving like a man determined. Coming to pick up those three and a half seconds. And they've certainly got this boat ready for him. Ted Jones, the man who designed that boat. 103 miles an hour on the fourth lap that he just completed. Second place is Miss Pepsi. He just completed the fourth lap. And it's 15 seconds behind 
Now, here's Triple going into the uh, east turn, west turn. ready to go as they move out of the uh, east turn. There's quite a battle over there with uh, a couple of the boats just coming out of the west turn on the lead boat. As we are at the moment, we have Miss Swiftway turning out of the uh, west turn. A quarter way up the back stretch. Your second place boat is Miss Pepsi. Halfway through that uh, west turn. 101 miles an hour for uh, Bill Muncy in Miss Swiftway. Hawaii Kai has passed Maverick and has taken over fourth place. Your first place boat halfway up the back stretch is uh, Bill Muncy and Miss Swiftway. Second place boat is uh, Pepsi. And your third place boat is Dale Six. The three shaders at the wheel. First place boat is Hawaii Kai. Fifth place boat is Maverick. Here comes uh, Swiftway into the uh, corner. On the second buoy. On the third buoy. This is the fifth lap. Five more to go. Hawaii Kai. Hawaii Kai is chasing Miss Pepsi. 
Here he comes around in the corner as uh, Gale Six tries to hold him back. He's made him swing wide on the turn. And now Miss Pepsi has picked up a lot of ground. It's going to be a real fight from here on in as Gale Six is running uh, interference for uh, Miss Pepsi. Here comes Gale Pepsi. After Gale Six. And here comes Miss Pepsi in second place. As Gale Pepsi is pushed to the outside. And that gives Miss Pepsi a real chance here in the last two laps. Here comes Gale Six. In third place, coming down the outside. Here's your west turn in a real battle in there, ladies and gentlemen. As Bill Muncy flies that boat in around that corner, trying to maintain his lead. As we have uh, Gale Six pushing him into the outside corner and causing Pepsi to pick up valuable ground. Just four seconds between the two boats as we're in the eighth lap of the final heat of the Gold Cup. Your lead boat going into the west turn. And just trailing four or five seconds behind him is uh, Pepsi. Pepsi now trailing back. Boy, was that ever a black movement. Hawaii Kai is chasing out after uh, Gail Six as Lee Shane is leaning fifth to get his own man there in front. Here's your second place boat as Miss Pepsi comes up on Miss Swiftway. He's really moving now. Coming out of that corner. Here's a real race for you as we're in the ninth lap. 103 miles an hour at the halfway point of this uh, eighth lap. This is the eighth lap. And Miss Pepsi seems to be falling back a little bit as Bill Muncy really pours the hole for it. Here we are, the race for first and second. Halfway up the back stretch, three quarters of the way up the back stretch, comes Bill Muncy in the trip way. He will not be denied. Unless his engine fails him, he will not be denied. He's driving that boat as recklessly as anybody we've ever seen. The boat is flying out of the water literally dozens of times. This Pepsi is now crawling into that corner, but he has no one out there to run a block for him. So he'll have to do it on his own. Muncy swings wide on the corner, coming out of the east turn. And Gale Six is now in uh, third place, and a wide tie is coming up on the outside to try and pass her. Here's your first and second battle as Chuck Thompson swings wide. And here comes Bill Muncy in this trip way. A thousand feet from the finish of the eighth lap. 500. And over the line. Bill Muncy in this trip way. Leading out here almost from wire to wire. Here's the second place goal. Chuck Thompson. Coming over the line. Going out after Bill Muncy in this trip way. But Bill's really pouring the heat to her. He has two more to go. 104 miles an hour on the eighth lap. That's how I pushed him. He's not picked up. Uh, another four seconds, he leads by eight seconds. And Hawaii Kai is third. And Rick Shadis is fourth. And now Rick is fifth. Here's your race for second. Here's first and second in the west turn. We have Muncie leading in this trip way. And in second place is Pepsi with Chuck Patsonite. This is the ninth lap, ninth lap. He has one more to go after he completes this one. Muncie in Tripway, burning out of that west turn, coming up the back switch now, picking up a little time as we almost had something out there, a fine effort, teamwork on the part of Lee Shane. 103 miles an hour at that point on that lap. Here's your lead boat halfway up the back stretch. Muncie in Tripway, the second place boat is the Pepsi, and the third place boat is the Y Kai. Maverick is running in uh, fourth place. I think that's fifth place. Lee Shane is in fourth. All right, into the east turn now for the ninth time. And one more to come as Miss Pepsi chases out after Bill Muncy in uh, Miss Tripway. The big make or break was that 104 miles an hour that he was pushed to in the eighth lap. He had to get around Lee Shadis, who pushed him to the wall. Here's your second place boat, just now moving into the east turn. All right, here we come. A thousand feet from the finish. Bill Muncy in Miss Tripway. 500. And over the line, starting his second and final lap. Bill Muncy. One lap away from taking it all. Here comes Miss Pepsi in second place. And a wide tie is in third place. Bill Pepsi is in fourth. And now is just rounding out of the west turn in fifth place. 13 seconds for uh, Bill Muncy. And he is really flying on this one as his times around here of average are going to give him real good time. He's going to get that 30 mile average. And that's going to give him a 400 bonus points, and that's what he needs. The wide drive is third on the line. Neil Sixton coming out of the east turn. And Maverick just coming up the back stretch. Here's your 100 inch lens shot of uh, Miss Swiftway going up the back stretch now. Pouring on the coal as she comes off that six and last buoy. Making your move, your lead boat. Just out of the west turn, up the back stretch, a quarter of the way. That's the halfway point of the uh, tenth and final lap for Muncie. And boy, he'll be a happy kid, this one. 103 miles an hour at the halfway point of his tenth and final lap. He's really burning. He wants those big points. This boy will never lay off that throttle, believe me. He eased up before on the final lap, and he lost 46 seconds to Lee Shainup. And brother, he'll never do it again. As Chuck Thompson is now finally died out of a challenge back in the ruts 
on their tenth and final lap as Bill Muncy and Chris Ray have turned this motor to a burning hot object of affection for everybody in the Pacific Northwest. All right, out of that turn comes Maverick, running in last place. And here comes Muncy on the turn for the tenth and final time. Where did he get the checkered flag? Here's the spin and the run. And here comes Muncy in fifth way. Down the line. He's a quarter of a mile away from the finish. He is 1,000 feet away, 500 feet away, 200, over the line, goes Bill Muncie, and up goes the hand, and Bill Muncie, brother, is he a happy kid? His time on the ninth lap was 103.8, his time on the tenth lap was pretty close to that, he averaged uh, almost uh, over 100 miles an hour, Chris Muncie in second place, and here's Bill Muncie, flying down into the west turn, and there'll be no miscount this time. As he flies around the corner, gets the checkered flag. And Bob Brakes have also playing the right side of the side of the curve. Uh, it's a victory the third. John Bell, we see the boats coming up to you. Uh, would you come in and start off uh, this heat? Yes, here we go. All right, here we are on the official bar. Just briefly, let me give it to you. Totally lapsed time for Thriftway, 59 minutes, 10 and 5,800 seconds. Total points as we see it with that uh, low 30-mile average, plus the 400 bonus points that you'll get for the lowest 90-mile average, 569 plus 400 plus 400 more, 1,469 points as far as we're concerned. I believe, according to our figures, unofficial anyway. Bill Muncy gets it. Money marbles and chalk. Tom Dargan, what do you say, buddy, buddy? <laughs> this is Riverama in Detroit, where you're watching ABC's exclusive coverage of the 1956 Gold Cup Regatta. I still don't know, I just said that it looks like the first wave on the money marble and chalk. We're not for sure, but it looks like this way is bringing the gold cup back to Lake Washington. Oh, I certainly hope so. <laughs> I was facing up and down like a wild man just a little while ago. How do you feel now, Dad? Much better. Good. And Willard, how do you feel? Terrific. You, we've been waiting for this for a year. Uh, I know you have. Bill <laughs> so, Wagner, what do you think about this coming back to Lake Washington? I am tickled to death. The 1956 Gold Cup was run on the Detroit River, and the point mix-up in Seattle the previous year couldn't hold a candle to the beefs and belly aches which followed the 56 affair. 
This was the race in which Bill Muncy and the nifty Thrifty supposedly hit a buoy here on the seventh lap of the final heat. That was it, and as a result, the cup was held up. This was the race, too, in which King TV participated in more than a broadcasting capacity, for it was the recording of King's telecast, which later convinced the officials that Muncie did not hit the buoy, and the Gold Cup should rightfully be his. Well, confusion reigned for weeks. Seattle folks were rightly indignant. Ultimately, though, they were to rejoice with the Thriftway camp when the final decision was made. There was no rejoicing, however, when Slow Mo 4 came home from her final race. During a warm-up session on the Detroit course, Joe Taggart had taken the old lady out for a test run. As he roared down the straightaway, he hit the wake of a non-racing craft, and the Slow Mo was demolished. just hit this ramp, this wave in the exact right moment, I don't imagine I'd go back, I could have gone back and tried a thousand times and, and repeated on it, but it just was, caught me in the right position that uh, threw the boat up in the air in such an attitude that when it came down, the round part of the nose turned the boat sideways, and I can still remember the two policemen looking back at me as I was going over. Taggart luckily escaped fatal injury, but for the slow-mo four, the end had finally come. As she returned to Seattle, a reaction was dramatic to the point of pathos. Hydro fans actually shed tears as the wrecked hull came home to her final resting place. 